for the third time today. We went live on location this morning in Santa Monica, the beach, to show you the opening of the beaches. Um, tonight we're covering SDL, covering EIDL, PUA, Second Stimulus Check, and Heroes Act. The video is just uploaded. Heroes Act is uploaded. An EIDL loan video is uploaded. Please go watch the EIDL loan video for Saturday, May 16th, and the EIDL grant video for May 16th. It will answer a lot of the questions you're having. Also, the heroes, and we answer your questions from Friday. We have four videos. All the videos will answer your questions if you if you put them on uh, Friday's videos before Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have second stimulus check, EIDL grant, EIDL loan, and PUA, along with a new video on the HEROES Act, which goes to the Senate Monday. We're answering all your questions. But first, let me answer your questions to yesterday's behind the scenes live live taping uh, Friday evening. So Karina says, hey, I love the voice, love the charisma, love the vocabulary, shocker, bomb style, love it. Well, thank you, Karina, thank you for tuning in. Cody Mayfield called in level one, said they had no info. I took your advice and asked for a higher level, uh, level two. I got denied, she said. Okay, Cody, so as we said, you don't get denial until you get a denial letter. Make sure you watch that letter. We're gonna talk about those denial letters tonight in the EIDL loan story. Watch the, the video, it's about 30 minutes. Please watch the whole one video from beginning to end because the denial letter is a real big thing and we're gonna make a separate video about it to explain how important it is to watch that letter and see what says in it and what you can do after you get the denial letter. You may not be out of recourses. Jean Baptiste, I called SBA today and the agent made me verify my company information. My city state and EIN told me that my application is still being processed. I applied in 4-6, she said, she she told me to keep an eye out for the email. So very good, Jean Petit. So one of our videos tonight will talk about if you've not got, gotten the grant, which I don't think you have, and you're waiting for the loan, will you get the grant? Um, you're going to be surprised by what we're, what we're delivering in our shocker tonight. Uh, Casey Au. I applied EID on April 10th, April 9th, got a $10,000 grant May 5th. Wow, so he got a $10,000 grant, but came sort of late. Uh, called tier two, they say this processing, you're the best. Well, thank you, KCO. Uh, thanks for watching and watch our EIDL loan story today. Kenya Safari Acrobats. Me and my sister applied the same day. I live in North Carolina. She lives in Georgia. We applied March 30th. Her score is in the 500s. Mine's lower. Credit was pulled 416. Got the grant of 1,000. My credit pulled the next day and I've heard nothing. She got a PPP for 5,000. I just got the EIDL loan for 19,000. I called and they verified anything and they said it's looking and keep looking out. So Kenya, just be, when you, you'll get an invite to the portal, an email from SBA to go into the portal to uh, review your EIDL loan loan offer. If it is $19,000, when you go in there, you click around, and if you accept, then it kicks in an extra Experian credit check. Um, just because you get an offer of $19,000 doesn't mean they're going to accept it. I, we do cover um, credit scores tonight a little bit more in detail, and the fact that you are in the low 500s um, may cause you a problem. There are video there. We have a lot of details tonight about people in the high 500s and low 600s. And you're going to be surprised by what we reveal in our EIDL grant and EIDL loan story tonight about credit checks that come back from experience in the high 500s and low 600s. But if it's a low 500, that would be a new one. Derek Brown, LA, thank you for all the good info on this. Well, thank you, Derek. I applied on for EID on 42, got the grant on 424, got back credit 477 score. I've not received the loan or portal. Do you think there's a chance I'm getting the loan without that credit score? I've called SBA a few times, I've gotten the runaround. What do you think? Yeah, you're going to get an offer, um, but the offer may not be accepted by them. So you may get an offer, you may go into the portal, you may click on the offer, it may do another experience credit check, and then you may get a denial. 477 is just, um, I'm sorry you have that, but you're gonna see on our stories tonight on the EIDL loan and the EIDL grant, we talk about high 500s and low 600s as really one of the core areas to be looking at. 
CT, hey, Alilate, I'm in Riverside County. I applied for four and received an email five two saying the application is being processed. I called several times and spoke to tier two agents. They keep on saying it's still being processed, and there's four million applications in the system. I'm so mad. No grant and no loan yet. So I'm sorry to hear that, CT. I'm sorry you didn't get a grant. And what's also sorry about it, if you watch our grant and loan story tonight, you're going to see that you better hope you get a loan because the grants are not coming before the loans anymore. Uh, Mike. Shupanex Switz. So a good question I've been searching for, and the SBA website's kind of lacking on what else can we use the EIDL loans for? There's only a list of few eligible, not eligible uses more important than what I should have used them for. Did the COVID change something in the old bullet point answers? So my great question, we're getting that a lot, haven't answered it. Uh, my best question answer has been so far that, you know, it is a loan. It's a loan document, and the loan document is a desk, is a DocuSign document. That document says what the agreements are between the parties. I mean, who really cares what SBA publishes on their website? They change by the minute. It's the loan document. What does the loan document say? Hey, uh, CornFed, thanks for joining in the room. Sup, y'all? Um, so pay attention to the loan document. If you do want to go through the process, if you want to have an extra experience credit check, look at what the loan document says. It will detail what you can use the loans for. The questions we were getting tonight uh, about about that, about using the loan is really going to prompt us to do another story. What can you use the loan for? How can you use the loan? How long can you wait to use the loan? And when can you repay those loans? You know, a lot of those questions are dependent upon the loan document. If anyone's watching this video and has the actual loan document, they've signed it, can you send it to us in some way or post it in one of the comments? We'd love to see what the loan document actually says about um, the obligation to, to, uh, to do certain things. Mervyn Secure Cambric. I don't have a question, but I have a help from one of the comments below the other day. I was able to contact SBA on my application. Got an update. Tier 2 said they were putting in change, but that hasn't waited long. I asked about how long it be officers see these up to 30 days into your officer is good. Uh, mentioned that there should be an expiration date on the screen once you get the portal to log in and create your new account. Um, someone said that the, that the EIDL loan offer for the is up open is good for six months i don't want to confirm that that's true but that's what a few people i think two people have said in the comments um operation chevy <laughs> great screen date hey mail hey l8 i'm junior i'm a vortex ranger well uh, hey, what's going on, Junior? I applied on 3.30 and haven't received anything, and not including the generic emails. Now, having been in the Army, I knew from the start there's a government-run entity. Reen apply all over. Ask for agent name. Escalated. Let me talk to the lead. Tier 2. So after all this time, I'm told my file was found. It's in the QA to be assigned to a loan officer. I will continue to call. One last thing. Tier 2 agents, according to my agent, can leave notes about our problems with the applications, whatever that means. Please keep up, please keep up your good work on keeping us updated. You don't give up. You don't give up attitude. You tell us all to stay on it. Big thank you. Yeah, I really do tell you to stay on it. Um, and what's frustrating to me, however, is that the process seems to be unfolding. You'll see in the EIDL loan and EIDL grant stories tonight, we detail how the policies of which they administer these things are changing daily. So whatever we've told you on Tuesday or Monday is changing by Friday. And that's why it's so important to watch these videos on a daily basis if you don't have your money because the policies are changing. Um, I would have never thought that I'd be telling you your grant money is coming after your loan money and that you might not be in your grant and that you might be. Um, and then on Monday, I was telling you things were automated. Now they're not automated. It's really really just changing. Um, TCH, hey from Ohio, Oregon. Hey, TCH, you have two minutes to accept the loan offer, CB Boo. Okay. How do you know that CB Boo? Did it say it in the portal? Um, and if you have a copy of the loan offer, can you maybe, you know, um, because people are asking CB Boo right, right before you got into, into the chat, they want to know what the loan agreement says as to what it's to be used for and what it cannot be used for. And I keep on asking them, well, you got to see that loan document. I don't have a copy of it, so I can't tell them what's in it. Called SBA and today and was told my application is a process. Good. Good, Sam. Um, so going back to Operation Chevy Junior, Vortex Ranger. Yeah, I'm sorry you're a 330 Vortex applicant. Um, it is that horrible Vortex. What I'm concerned is that 
you are waiting for the grant. You're not going to get the grant now. You're waiting for the loan, and you may not get the lo and you're and who knows if the loan is an acceptance on their side. I'm sorry, Chevy. Um, Junior, stay with us. I want to update us with your updates on the EIDL loan or a grant stories. Comment in there. CB Boo, can I email to you? But I don't think it can be tomorrow. I've been drinking tonight. Oh, that's fine. Um, that's fine. Yeah, no, uh, no rush. I you, because people are asking what's in this loan document. What does it say you're supposed to do? What do you say you can't do? Um, how long can you wait to use the funds? How can you use the funds? And I'm basically saying, hey, if it's in the loan document, then that's what you got to file. Now, what's on SBA's website? Lewis, I'm a 330. Haven't received anything. Yeah, Lewis, I, I'm sorry. Um, that doesn't mean, Lewis, the fact that you're a 330 is not the reason why you haven't received anything. Um, people are not receiving things for other. Oh, you're a 330. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting late. You mean March 30th, not a credit score, 330. Um, of course, you're a Vortex person. So that's why <laughs> to think I thought you meant credit score, 330. Um, I think I'm about to sign the petition. Have a drink for me. Yes, have a drink for me as well. Um, you're 330. I just read Operation Chevy, who's junior, is a Vortex Ranger. I'm not sure what a Vortex Ranger is, but it sounds exciting. And he's a 330. There's a lot of 330 Vortexes. Um, if you watch our EIDL loan story tonight i'm gonna actually hold up a document that shows how what's going so poorly and i think it's it's a regional issue it's also a daily issue it's the 330 vortex the 331 and the 48 the good news is there's a lot of people on this channel that are now saying they're skidding stuff on 331 in early may which i'm glad they are um you know and they're saying they got grants which is great um Louis Paduano, LA, sorry for the long comment the other day. Just one thing, why does a lot of people see these different sections of the CARE Act, which is the law not being followed, the government agencies like the uh, the PPL falls, they want to throw us a bone with no meat, $1,200. Thanks again, LA. Yeah, Louis, I agree 100%. Um, it's just a hot mess. It's just a hot mess. Um, the latest hot mess is it's an EIDL grant advance, and now it's being called an EIDL, EIDL grant afterthought. I mean, it's coming after your loan. It's a grant advance. Uh, it's it's ten thousand dollars per business, not 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 a portion of one thousand dollars per employee. I agree one hundred percent with you. The wealthy empire. Don't rush. Don't talk. You talk too fast. I do talk too fast. <laughs> um, here's someone else. Who is this? Oh. Auntie Uber. Oh, I read your comment tonight on uh, on air, Auntie Uber. PUA acceptance went out today. Five email sites are not warning. Thousands are unable to log in. No phone moral. It's awful. I mean, PUA is just horrible in some states. Um, let me read the comments. Carrie King was told application was in process two days ago and woke up to the loan portal today, applied on 4-3, got an advance on 4-20. So that's great. So you got your advance on 4-20, so you're that late April period. And Carrie, Carrie you got your loan offer. Um, how much was your loan range and what's your experience, if you want to say? If you don't, no worry. Don't, I'm not going to... Uh, if, you, if you don't want to say it, don't worry. A husband got a one thousand. Amy says husband got a one thousand dollar grant. Credit pulled. Haven't heard absolutely nothing. Um, scripted answers. What now? Are you so, Amy? I'm assuming it's you're just talking about the husband. There's no one. You're not talking about yourself. So, um, if he got a thousand dollar grant on four twenty seven, you know, it's not been a long time. You can call SBA and say, where's your EIDL loan, uh, your loan email portal offer. What I like for you, Amy, is that you did get, your husband did get the grant. Uh, we're now dealing with people that are no longer getting grants, that they're only getting loan offers and no grants unless they come after the loan. Um, you took, talk perfectly fine. We're grateful. Thank you, CB Boo. Uh, C Boo. Am I adding an O? See, Bo. <laughs> Norma again. Hey, Norma. Called this morning after accepting the loan and waiting for the response. Told the loan officer will issue the advance. There you go. So we're going to be talking about that. We talk about that in tonight's videos. Um, one is uh, three are already uploaded and the other two are coming. So e uh, EIDL loan video is a is a biggie. You got to watch the loan video. We deal with this whole big issue. Please watch the EIDL loan video tonight. And then uh, about... 30 minutes after that, watch the grant video, EIDL grant video. It's going up now. So you got, oh, you got one to 135 experience high 600. So congrats. That's wonderful. Um, it's really assuring, it's really assuring that someone in the, in the 600s got up to 135. 
Um, I want to rock, go back in Carrie's comments. So, uh, so Carrie, did you accept yet, or are you waiting to decide to accept? Um, tell me, tell me in the chat. Casey applied April one, got the grant April twenty fourth. Still no loan for Orful. Um, Chase, uh, Chase Rice. Uh, that's fine. I mean. The 24th has not been that long. It should have been this week. Um, I thought most of you late 20 April people would be getting the portal offer this week. It's not. Check your spam folder, but it's just not coming. So I'll guess next week. Do you know any info about PUA in Florida? Yeah, it's just not It's just not going. It's PUA in Florida and PUA in Texas. Our video went live about uh, two minutes ago. It's on, this, it's, on the, it's on the channel, PUA Florida. <sighs> I just don't know what's going on with PUA Florida. PUA Florida and PUA Texas, they're just not, not paying. Um, what's wrong with those states? They're just not moving. Hawaii, one reader said that she got her Hawaii. The other one says Hawaii is crashing. Upstate New York is a hot mess. Um, I don't know what's going on with Florida. I would call I would call your congressman or your senator or your, I wouldn't say call the governor because he doesn't do much of anything, but I would call someone and say, what's going on with PUA in Florida? I heard from us uh, that SBA officer leaked and that they're looking f for 550, 570. Yeah, I mean, we're going to do a video tomorrow about all these leaks. There's a lot of leaks, and some people are making leak stories this week about leaks that have been around for a month. <laughs> it's like, well, it's not, a, it's not a breaking news leak when you just find out about a month later. Um, uh, I accepted today and they gave some identity verification just waiting for approval. Okay, so Carrie, I'm crossing my fingers for you. I hope you get the approval. As everyone knows from this channel is just because there's an offer doesn't mean it's an it's going to be approved on their side. But as I've said, if it's if it's, you know, over $100,000, you're going to get approved. Um, it's these lower amounts I'm always worried about for viewers. Would like to hear what you think. Ella Rez. I didn't see what the first thing. Oh, he also leaked more information. Ella Rez. Um, that they're looking for 570. Um, I think there's someone on the EIDL loan story tonight that's upload that's live now on the channel. I think it's live now. Um, he, that person is in the high 500s and got a really nice loan accepted. So, no, I mean, um, I have heard high five. I've had, we've had viewers here on this channel of high 500s, low 600s. They're getting loans. I mean, loans that are funded. Um, how many people got denial letters today? Uh, well, there's a there's a couple denial letters in the in the in the EIDL loan story, and I think we're going to be making another video how to deal with the EIDL loan denial and how you're not dead on arrival. There may be another option. Um, comments are going so quick now. Uh, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Carrie, uh, keep me and keep us informed. C drop comments in the either the uh, EIDL loan story or this video. This video here that you're watching, even though it's live, we archive it. Um, and it goes uh, into uh, into the into the channel, so it gets archived after we after we record it. <laughs> there was one this morning that's disappeared. It's disappeared on the 334 text. I want to thank Purse. I want to thank, uh, uh, the three p the two people uh, heartfelt music and oh God, um, I, I thanked him. I thanked him earlier today as well. I think it was Raul. Um, I can't remember. I, I, God, I, I, I want to thank both of them for their super chat donations Friday and Thursday. Very very kind. Did not want to know what a super chat was. If you don't know what a super chat is, it's like a button you can click and and support the channel. So thank you for supporting the channel. Um, how many people got a denial letter today? I don't know. We will soon find out. Um, told you, told you your bank account is not active and I've been with this bank and this is the first time I'm hearing that. Check, um, Corn Fed, check the, uh, routing number. One person on this channel actually said that they accused SPA of changing the routing number. Um, LRA's just shared the link. Oh, thank you. Um, only way to change the loan amount is getting it denied, but not for more or less. Please take a look at it. It would li I'd like to hear what you think. Um, Eloise, where did you put the link? Is it going to be in the link of this of this video? Um, please tell me. Oh, Carrie. Th oh, thank you so much. 
thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Um, uh, for the super chat, Carrie. So kind of you. Um, very, very, very kind, Carrie. I really, really appreciate it. I'm trying to go up. Um, the strange thing about this chat is it's on the screen. So uh, clearly I'm recording mobile. So I have to put my finger on the screen. But yesterday, oh, I guess if I put my finger over here. Oh, thank you, Cebu. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cebu, for supporting the channel. Um, thank you for your great support information. I appreciate it, Carrie. Um, we're trying to stay relevant and current so as new things happen. Um, we're doing them. We have a story tonight on the Heroes Act because the Heroes Act has a, I mean, you know, it is a proposal, it's not approved, that has a lot of unusual things in there. Um, and so I want you all to know what's going on in the HEROES Act. In fact, in the second stimulus uh, check video tonight, I fully admitted that we left out something from the HEROES Act, which, is, uh, which concerns renters. Renters under the HEROES Act will, business renters could get their rent and their utilities um, not forgiven, but paid for under a fund. Uh, Mohammed, let me know about the score. So Mohammed, the score is generally, I mean, we, we are seeing people in the high 500s and low 600s that are getting paid, uh, getting, getting loans that are accepted. We were told that he needed an EIN. He's a sole proprietor. His SSN is all he needs. Was told what was, ooh, your comment disappears, was told they weren't sure about the portal being sent, that I might keep an issue, but keep it up checking. So, Amy, um, in what I'm understanding, if your husband applied as a sole proprietor uh, and clicked that button, sole proprietor, you're exactly right. He only needs a social security number. He doesn't have an EIN. His business would have been his name, um, his social security number, and his bank account. He did everything right. Uh... I sent a rec oh, so Nomad0018 sent a reconsideration this second time. I sent a reconsideration. This is the second time the denial is sent from the first reconsideration email. Okay, so Nomad, you sent a reconsideration uh, uh, letter to SBA. Tell me what you put in the reconsideration. You're the, you know, we're, we're, we're heading towards that as being a topic for the channel, these reconsideration and denials. So tell me what you did and when did you file it? Alfredo, I got a 463 score. Uh, Alfredo, so you have a 463. What happened after that? Have you got a loan? Have you got a, a, a grant, Alfredo? Lewis, what's considered high 500s? You know, it was, um, I said it on air tonight in the loan story, but I think it was like a, 580, 565, you know, 565, 70, 580. Uh, and that person got a really nice grant. Um, my husband has zero credit, but is still receiving the advance. Is the loan a gas grasp? I applied for a business 54, so I won't get an advance. Okay, so Amy, um, two things. One, if you watch our EIDL loan and grant stories tonight, I mean, you can just look at them in the title. Um, the sad news is it doesn't look like they're giving grants before loans anymore. But are they giving grants after loans? And that's the issue. Um, so there is no more an advance. Um, it's a posthumous uh, amount of money, hopefully. Um, is the loan a grasp? No. I mean, if your husband has zero credit, no. Um, they're still offering loans to people, even if you have um, low credit. Um, Nomad, so you're high 500s. Did, Nomad, did your letter say, because um, we read one of the letters on air tonight for the EIDL loan story. Please watch that. It was from when... Uh, 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 Jeep Willie, and it said, you've been denied per your credit score of Experian. Mohammed, thanks, brother. Oh, I appreciate it. Um, hey, Alilate, keep doing the business videos. Great content. Thank you, Sunny Ski Sky, Sunny Sky. What is it with Alfredo, uh, Lewis? Um, Alfredo has a 463 score, and 
Oh, I got the grant. Oh, so Alfredo Alonso uh, has a 463, but he got the grant. Um, so I f he got a $1,000 grant. Congratulations, Alfredo. Um, Nomad, my credit was not visible. I went on Experian at High 500s. I explained the details of my email. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. So you were high 500s, but your um, credit was not visible. I'd love to hear. Uh, please keep us up to date. Please drop it comments in the in the EID alone or, or grant or this video tonight. I'd love to hear what happens to your um, to your reconsideration. I think that's going to be a, a, a new a new subject matter on this channel because it's 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 being talked about a lot. Andrew, I just got a grant on the 7th after applying on the 6th when they changed it because I just did it. Um, when, when they changed... Andrew, is that a question? I just got a grant on the 7th after they changed it. So I guess, Andrew, you are an agricultural applicant. Um, that's great. I want to make sure I didn't miss anyone. Uh... Thank you again for the, the super chat, Carrie and Cebu, Cebu 66. Um, thank you for the people that uh, have been. How do you pronounce LA late and what does it mean? Oh, great question, uh, Norma. So LA late is pronounced L A late. Um, it me it, sta it it basically stands for Los Angeles. Uh, the L is for the L A is Los Angeles. Some people sometimes think it's la late. Uh, some people think it's like it's a French word. <laughs> um, in fact, on our Twitter account, I think almost recently, it, on the Twitter account for L A, it used to it said to recently, you know, pronounced because we it, it was clearly an issue that some people could not understand how it's pronounced. Uh, Michael, good day, evening all. Applied 331 for EIDL, credit pulled April 17th, no portal yet. They say it's on the way. It's a crazy answer when I call SBA office. Do you get the PPP for the $36,000 approved in the SBA? Did get the PPP if, okay, great. Um, so Michael, you got 13K for PPP. Um, now I hope, you know, I hope that works good for you. I'm not a big advocate for PPP. This channel certainly said we don't like it. Um, Lewis is thanking Alfredo. Oh, um, Highway Runner. I got the grant 414. The credit was pulled the day before 330. Got a denial letter yesterday saying the same day I spoke to Tier 2. The rep says re it's uh, replied for reconsideration. Um, oh, sorry to hear that, Highway Runner. So no one addressed if you have a credit freeze and then you lift it, ask BSBA to pull, please address this issue. Okay, so um, great question. This credit freeze came up earlier this week. People were asking about, oh, the grant is not being paid if you have a credit freeze. That <laughs> We almost ran the story. Then a few people came in the comments and said, oh, no, no, I clearly have a credit freeze on my account. I got grant. And my friend did this. And so there was a lot of people, not just like two. There was like five to, five to 12 that said they had credit freezes and they got the grants. Now, there are people who say they had a credit freeze and they are certain that's why they didn't get a grant. So... You know, I don't know how Experian works, so but I do know what the positions are of people that watch this channel. Do they deposit funds into accounts over the weekend? No. Um, ACE, direct deposits don't effectuate into accounts on the weekend because bank deposits only come Monday through Friday. I got the grant, but they haven't credit check my credit. Oh, Alfredo, great. Um, so you're waiting for the loan. Approved for the EIDL loan up to 65K. Um, approved today for that. Signed a DocuSign today. Starting to reconsider that amount. Is it possible to request full approval after signing? Uh, oh, so you, you got a loan offer of 65K. Only did 24 approved. Signed the DocuSign. Wow, that's a hard question. And that's asked by T. Bui. Um, can't if you sign the DocuSign and you you chose a lower amount, can you go back and change your mind? I mean, anything's possible, but it, clearly you got to do it over the phone with SBA. I mean, that is just uh, you're at the mercy of getting someone on the good on the phone that's good to do that because I don't know. I mean, that is a hard one. 
Uh, thank you. I love your channel. Was it hot at the beach? Norma. Uh, no, but it was early. It was only, um, it was only about nine. And the sad thing is that there was two videos. The longer one was the one where everyone was chatting and it's just like, it's somewhere. I, it, it is on the it is out there, but it's not on the channel. So I the video may be lost. I don't know what happened. Are they giving grants to the agricultural applicants? Yes. Uh I wasn't uh that's for Amy. Uh Michael, I wasn't stoked about the PPP, but the banker said it would be forgivable as long as I wrote checks to myself for payroll. Hope it doesn't bite me. Uh yeah, I mean it's not gonna bite you if you're writing yourself money. It's if you're using the money for some of the of other people and that's not forgiven it's gonna bite you um are you able to see me text empire no i can't see you <laughs> it's a chat um now if it's an ig yeah maybe if we screen screen share the reason for the dial was the cost of goods etc was lower than my actual grant oh um highway runner maybe i answered your question on the on the the EIDL loan video tonight. Everyone watch the EIDL loan and EIDL grant videos. They are big ones. I mean, y'all had a lot of great comments yesterday, but you didn't watch as much. Make sure you watch these videos because there's some shockers. But to answer your question, um, you're in the mid 600s. Uh, so you were denied because the cost of goods calculation. That's a really good reconsideration um argument i want to hear how it goes so keep me updated because obviously this channel's heading towards that being a topic these reconsideration letters tebow t two tier two person i spoke to to say said said what accepted it what an accepted is set in stone oh so tebow is saying norma is saying to tebow that if you sign that docusign that is Signed, sealed, delivered, you cannot change it. Interesting. Agricultural only have 1,200 acres where, where we're still waiting. Um, awful. Uh, so Escadari says, told me I was approved and I signed the documents. Oh, great. So BHPH, um, so I called SBA, I lifted the freeze, but I got the grant anyway. SBA said they will re-pull it if they can't tell me when. Oh, um, runner, 20K from my banking institution. I'm following the guidelines carefully. I, um, yeah, if it's your bank, uh, highway runner, then I'm, I'm, I'm more comfortable with it. Our advice is on the channel is stay away from these online banks that you can't get on the phone. It's a scary operation but if it's a bank you do business with I i'm more comfortable with it um i miss the beach norma i do too <laughs> maybe i'll go live there a little later um yeah three months to accept to take advantage of the loan if you opt out of a lower amount but they can pull your oh so we have another comment about this so jermaine says you have three months to take advantage of the full loan if you opt out of a lower amount but they can pull your credit again and ask additional documents wow i mean how do you all know this uh, how do you know that, Jermaine? Uh, is it, it Jermaine? Is that in the um, in your in the loan document? It says that. So nomad, um, unsatisfactory credit. Awful. I'm so sorry, Jermaine. You're so uh, Jermaine. You're so uh, La. You're so awesome. Thank you for keeping us. Oh, well, thank you, thank you, Jermaine. I, I love how Jermaine is answering T Bowie's comment help. And everyone is like helping each other. It's just, it's just wonderful. I mean, this is what a community is about. I mean, everyone is helping each other. We're all in the same, we're all trying to deal with the same um, confusion. And I just love that people are in here uh, chatting with one another and, and educating each other. Michael, I would have been denied and my invitation on the way. Uh, Rich Nostro, love your live. I uh, love you live. Thank you, Rich. I mean, Rich, if you're just getting in here. This is really fascinating. People are helping each other. People are asking me questions. And sometimes before I answer it, someone else has something really fascinating. I mean, the reason why is because a lot of you have signed loan documents already. I've not seen a loan document. I've been asking people in this chat tonight, if you have a loan document, send it to me or tell me what's in it so I can advise other people because people are asking me about what the loan terms are. I just don't know. Um, I got a portal loan offer, 20,000. I'm hearing offers between, uh, I'm hearing offers, 
people offered before, it's a, it's just a scam and waste of our time. Um, yeah, Andy. I mean, I'm worried about low loan offers because generally, sometimes low loan offers uh, are, are rejections, and yet you're also getting a credit check against you. Amy, you're just awesome. Well, thank you, Amy. Thank you. This whole thing is just a huge nightmare. Definitely a fan. Thank you. I mean, I'm sorry this thing is a nightmare. It's, um, uh, you know, the, the thing about SBA is at least they're on the phone. You can get them on the phone. The thing I that, the thing that really upsets me is these unemployment offices. No one can get anyone on the phone. So you literally have absolutely no idea what's going on. And you're looking at a website that doesn't work. Michael's comment is very interesting. Oh, Karina, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the three of you with the super chat tonight. So kind. Uh, Nora Malay, thank you, Ellie. Uh, thank you for the information and entertainment. Well, thank you, Karina. We're going to do some um, on location stuff, so it'll be a little bit more entertaining. <laughs> uh, very interesting. Since much more information success is on the way, should I get any time? Credit score 619. Who knows? Crossing my fingers. I'll uh, keep us up to date, Michael. You're becoming a sensation, Andy. Well, thank you, Andy. And what is that? That's like a little um that's like a little emoji. How many weeks after you receive your grant for the loan offer? Uh two to three weeks. Um but it looks like it's heading more towards the three weeks because we said that a week ago and no one got anything this week. We said it two weeks ago and no one got anything that's in, within two weeks. Bro, the loan will be spent and gone before the clear the smoke for any conditions. <laughs> I found another low pro program through SBA, but no one knows about it. The other loan gives 150K is called the COVID-19 Emergency Relief Working Capital Loan Application Package 150. Um, oh, is it on the website, BH? That's interesting. Um, hey, Michael. I, I'm rich to Michael. I had a 601, but the income states I should get approved for 15K. You're not going to like our EIDL uh, loan story tonight, maybe even by looking at the title, um, because we shock you when we – oh, I don't have it here. Um, I, I hold up the actual amounts that loans are being offered in certain states, and they're huge. They're really, really, really huge. Um, so some of you who wanted those big loans, um, they're being given, and I, it's, it's just shocking. Um, so, wow. Thank you, everyone. So, oh, wait, more questions. Um no, it's not. I found it from the CSDIC, which is a contractor for the SBA. Oh, well, congrats. Um, you know, a lot of local banks are SBA lenders. You know, there's going to be a lot of strange stuff if this um, HEROES Act passes. So stay with that as well. All right, everyone. So watch the EIDL loan and EIDL grant videos tonight the loan one should be up the grant one we've been 37 minutes so the grant one should be up now um and if you're interested on the second stimulus check and how much you're getting if you have a business and you're wondering about getting your rent forgiven or your or, uh student loans watch the heroes act and the stimulus package videos there are two of them they're shorter they're only about six minutes long and um uh, this this empire. I don't think my messages are visible. A uh, text empire. I can see your messages. I can see you. Um, Joe, I got a denial letter today. My credit was five forty. Today it's six hundred. Uh, denial was credit history. Go back to on the top line. Reapply. Oh, um, April. April Robinson. I love your channel. Well, thank you, April. Um, credit check four twenty one. They're giving me a runaround about my bank account verification. Still nothing. So. No EIDL grant. So April, I'm worried for you. Um, watch our EIDL loan video tonight because basically what we're saying is if you have not gotten a grant now, your grant may be coming after your loan and you have to hope you get the loan. So most loans are larger amounts. Does that mean fewer people are getting loans? Um, if you watch the first 60 seconds of the EIDL loan video tonight, you will hear the answer to that and you're going to your mouth's going to drop um our mouth dropped as well 
So is there another loan that's working out in the CARES Act, or is it, it gives a million dollars up to large companies with revenues up to $2 million? Yeah, that's, um, that's not the CARES Act. That's the, that's the Federal Reserve. Um, it's called the uh, Main Street Le Loan. It's on LALate.com. We've written about the Main Street Loan. Um, you can reapply, but you can ask for reconsideration. Absolutely, Nomad. Yeah, everyone sees your messages, tech. Uh, Tisu's empire. All right, everybody. So um, hope everyone is good. Watch your EIDL loan and grant videos tonight. Uh, and there's two others. Um, April, I got my, oh, weird. I got my agriculture EIDL grant less than 24 hours later. Oh, congratulations. Um, Glenda, I signed loan documents today. It says that's funding. I hope it doesn't take two years. No, Glenda, it should take one business day. How do I apply for the Main Street loan? I'm a large company. Uh, Federal Reserve. Um, geez, we wrote, last wrote the story, I think, about five days ago. And it was a joke because uh, every business channel, including ours, has been asking for details of this loan for two weeks or three weeks. So go on Bing, I guess. And um, uh, it might actually be in the post of the community tab of this channel. But otherwise, go on to Bing and Google LLA Plus Main Street Loan, M-A-I-N, um, and you'll see it. Um, it talks about the three different levels. There are different levels with different names and different interest rates. Um, at that time, there was still no place to apply. And everyone's furious with the Federal Reserve. It's like, why do you have a process that you've been talking about and you don't have anywhere to apply? Um, only need 30,000 if they're giving more to it. Yes, um, good point, good point. All right, everybody, this has been wonderful, 51 people. Um, that's not helpful. Um, thank you, Andy says, a lot of small business like myself only need $30,000. If they aren't giving that money, they, they aren't, that's, that's not helpful. Well said, thank you, so awesome. Well, thank you, BH, um, thank you. And you know, I, I said this before, but I'll say it again. If you're an independent contractor or, or, or self-employed uh, um, and have been impacted by COVID-19 and you've watched this channel, you, you were looking for EIDL grant money, you did not receive the grant money, please consider whether you qualify for PUA. There's so many of you, I think, that are watching this channel who are thinking EIDL grant, um, aren't getting it, where you may never get it and then not have not considered PUA. Please consider whether you get P, apply for PUA, whether you are eligible for PUA, um, because that might be an additional thing um, that may, uh, may curb the problems you're going through. Um, Glenda, thanks, LA. I applied for my agricultural two weeks and got nothing. Not good, Amy. Um, a lot of people in the channel who applied for agriculture last Monday got grant and loan days later and fully funded. Sorry to hear that. So thank you for the super chat people. Thank you for everyone else. Especially big thank you to um, the people who answered each other's questions, which is just incredible. Um, what a wonderful community. I mean, everyone's really so kind and nice in this group. Um, everyone really tries to help each other. Um, we're all in this boat trying to help each other navigate through this sort of confusion. And thank you for always being so kind to one another and uh, watch those videos tonight, EIDL alone, EIDL grant, S uh, PUA, HEROES Act, and a second stimulus check. And if you want to rewatch this video, it will be archived uh, within minutes. All right, everybody, have a great evening. And remember, if you have any comments on tonight's videos, drop them by 2 p.m. Sunday so that we'll answer them on air a Sunday afternoon when we record. Have a great evening.